Welcome back to Morning Markets on Thursday the 3rd of March. On screen we can see the key market moves from yesterday. Overall it was pleasing to see some green on the board with positive returns from equity markets in the US, in UK and Europe up around 1.3 to 1.8% on the day, pairing back some of the headwinds which were faced through Monday and Tuesday trading. Overnight in Asia we had positive returns coming from Japan. Yesterday on Morning Markets, the team discussed the strong returns which were delivered within government bonds through Tuesday's trading session. As we saw yields on bonds across the spectrum moving between 20 and 24 basis points in the UK and in Europe. Yesterday, the market gave some of that yield move back as uh, UK government bond yields moved out around 14 basis points. In the US, the yields didn't move in as aggressively on Tuesday. They did move out to a similar level in trade in yesterday. The reasons behind this, in the US, you had the chairman of the, the central bank, uh, the governor of the central bank, Jerome Powell, who made clear that given the rapidly improved economic health of the US economy, there was no need to have such supportive policy in place. And therefore, the central bank intend to push on with their plans to carefully raise interest rates starting from next month, given the backdrop of higher inflation. The higher inflation prints, to give some context there in the US, are currently in the latest reading at 7.5%, which is more than three times the central bank target at this point in time. The governor also recognised that labour markets are exceptionally tight at this point in time, meaning that there's more companies out there with the demand to take on labour than there is labour available. He's currently guiding to a 0.25% hike in March. He did note that there could be a need for more aggressive tightening further down the line should the inflationary backdrop persist. He would also look to reduce the central bank balance sheet, which has more than doubled since the onset of the pandemic in 2020, given the central bank support which was offered to support markets. In the background, he is very aware of the Russia-Ukraine situation and how that is impacting energy prices and the overall inflation picture. So did acknowledge that they'll be very careful in terms of how they manage those hikes and the communication around central bank policy at this point in time. Yesterday, we did see energy prices push higher. We saw oil, Brent crude, move above $115 per barrel. This morning, it's above $118. So we've seen more than a 10% rise over the last number of days. In terms of the discussion around oil, we had the OPEC Plus meeting yesterday where they agreed to stick with the plan which they set at the back end of last year to raise oil output by 400,000 barrels per day through April. This slightly undershot the market expectation. The market has really been pushing for OPEC Plus to increase the level of output at this point in time, given the potential challenges on supply from, from Russia. At this stage, Russia is still flowing oil and gas into to European markets, so they're not feeling the squeeze in terms of their reserves at this point in time, but that remains a risk which is on the table at this point in time. Thank you very much for watching. We look forward to bringing you up to date tomorrow here on Morning Markets. Subscribing to the True Potential YouTube channel is quick and easy. Simply go to the channel on your desktop or through the YouTube app on your phone and click the subscribe button. You can then press the notification bell symbol if you wish to be notified as and when new videos are released. Doing this is a great way to keep yourself updated with market developments and personal finance insights. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed and we look forward to continuing to help you do more with your money.